Don't know about the rest of you, but uh, farm plans are rapidly being reevaluated and uh, could be changing um, here for 2022 uh, with all the bullshit going on in the world or not going on in the world, depending on how you look at it. Rethinking the livestock, uh, staying here on this part of the land, uh, which I don't want to do. <laughs> kind of want to move and get out of this area and into a friendlier community. And um, lots of big changes coming. Yeah, lots of changes need to happen. Um, the sustainability of the farm is... Uh, always been a critical issue, but, uh, in these times, um, have to figure out a way to be able to feed everybody without going to the grain store. It's, uh, living in times of unprecedented uncertainty here. Another thing weighing heavily on the mind is that, uh, this channel is getting about 40,000 views in a month. And I was set to get a thousand subscribers and be monetized back in January. And on Thanksgiving, all of a sudden, the YouTube al algorithm gods decided that they were not going to shine in my favor anymore. And things have slowed to a pretty bad crawl. So if you're digging any of these videos, please hit the like and subscribe button. Oh god, it feels weird saying that. Yuck. i give you guys a little update on the birds here. Uh, we've got some over here in chicken jail because they got caught uh, taking a large interest in eating some eggs. So that's been a problem. Looks like I'm going to be downsizing the chicken flock and possibly picking up on a new bird that we've never raised on the farm before. Can you guess what it might be? You can write a novel about what a complete shit show this has been for the last seven years. Now there's been no community support and no family support and uh... Yeah, good thing. Yes, unfortunately for both myself and these girls, they have been caught eating eggs and are now in jail over here. So they will uh, sit until spring when they will end up in the freezer, most likely. Which is a real bummer, because there's a black copper morans and a hen I raised myself in here. Well, they were all raised here, but <laughs> hatched here. <laughs> so, that kind of sucks, but the big hens are kind of getting into the same nesting box together and Accidentally breaking eggs, and then they learn to eat them. Naughty, naughty, naughty. Yep. Seriously thinking of uh, downsizing the chickens, so they're all in one flock. This is separated inside, so even though it's one coop, there's uh, two flocks living in it that are divided here. Um, yep. There's a new bird that a friend, uh, not a new bird, but it would be due to this farm. A uh, different variety of meat and egg bird that a friend has been uh, trying to get me to check out for a couple of years now, and uh, I've ordered some eggs last night, and uh, we'll see how this pans out.